Nowadays, we have so many different DAWs. You may be working with Studio One. You may want to send that session to a friend that's working in Pro Tools or Logic. And there are multiple ways to do that. And that's what this video is about. But in this video, we're going to discuss AAF. What is AAF? Advanced Authoring Format. How does it work and how do we use it? So AAF is going to allow you to take your project, send it to someone that doesn't have your current DAW, and it should allow them to open that specific session. So I got the session here. I'm working with Studio One. If we check the mixer, I have a rough mix. I have a couple of plugins. Now I really like what's going on here. So I want to send it to somebody and I want them to listen to it. And maybe that person wants to tweak it a little bit. But that individual doesn't have Studio One. They have Pro Tools. So how do we deal with this? So what you want to do, want to make sure you're at the top of your session, File, Save As. Now the next thing you want to do, you want to make sure you change this. Save As Type. If you just save it as Song, they won't be able to open it unless they have Studio One. So you want to click the drop down window and you want to select AAF. There's a couple of different options here. We'll cover that in a future video. So once we do that, we're going to press Save. So now we get this pop-up. Do you want to save a copy of the current song as AAF file? The file format may not preserve all content. That's fine. We're going to click Use AAF File Format. So now the export options open. And we have a couple of different options here. We have embedded audio, split stereo tracks, convert audio files, trim audio, export pan, legacy mode. For this video, these are the options I selected. Split stereo tracks, convert audio, export pan. Now you can also select the embedded audio and what that option is going to do is going to contain all the files within one single AAF file. But the problem is every time I do it and I try to open this in Pro Tools, it just tells me the data is corrupt. So this is my workaround. Split audio tracks, convert audio files. Just make sure you select the format of your session. Once you do that, press OK. Process has completed. Now we're going to close this application and open Pro Tools. All right, so Pro Tools has opened. Now we're going to locate that AAF file. We're going to click it. And let's minimize this and go to Pro Tools. Now we have this window here. Name of the song, sample rate, bit depth. Make sure all this information is correct. All you have to do is pick a location. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I already did it, PT data, and I'm going to save. So import session data window has opened. Now, all you really want to do, you want to select every single track in here. And over here at session data, select whatever you need. Once you do that, press OK. So the process has completed. If we scroll down, all my tracks, all my edits are all there, which is pretty neat. If I take a look at the mixer window, fader mix, all there, panning, all there. Of course, we're missing the plugins, but that's fine. Now, if you're using a DAW like Reaper that doesn't have AAF import or export, then you're going to have to bounce each individual track from bar one to the last bar. Everything should line up. The only thing that needs to be changed is the tempo. So that's how you export using AAF. There are other options out there. We might cover them in the future, 